is 5.52 a.m. I'm in the airport parking lot and today I'm filming a what I eat in a day while traveling. I'm actually heading to a nutrition conference in California. I have a very long day of flying. Unfortunately, the Tucson airport is a small airport. So I actually am flying to Denver. I don't know, to turn around and fly back to California, back to Costa Mesa for this conference. So it's a long day of traveling. I have prepared myself. I actually have my backpack here full of snacks. I even brought things that could serve as meals so that I can make healthy choices along the way. And also, so I'm not in a position at all today to not have food on hand. That's when we can get into trouble if we don't plan ahead and make sure that we have healthy options or food on hand. So I always pack my backpack with snacks. I even packed my suitcase with snacks. Once I, once I get to California, I'll show you what I brought with me and how I kind of navigate going on a vacation, food related. I did have my protein coffee this morning. I drank all of it before I left as I got ready for the day. My plan is hopefully to be able to check into my hotel when I get there. And then I would love to go to the beach today just to kind of relax a little bit before the actual conference starts tomorrow. So I thought it would be kind of fun just to take you guys along with me as I travel and navigate having to eat out. Chances are I will be eating out for dinner tonight. There's a possibility that some of the conference attendees may get together for dinner. So it's just kind of a wild card, really, how food's going to play a part in today's travel day. So I need to grab my suitcase, head on into the airport, get checked in for my first flight. So let's navigate traveling, eating out, and staying on track with our weight loss goals. I'm sick of lying here all alone and nearly sleep at night. I'm honest. It's boring. One million thousand demons around in me. I will say I appreciate how quiet the Tucson airport is. It's way less stressful than most airports. So I stopped at one of the little bars in the airport and had them fill my water bottle with some ice and water. That is a pro tip for you is bring your water bottle and then just stop somewhere that has ice and water or just fill it up at the drinking fountains. I like ice in my water. So she put tons of ice and water and this will allow me to drink this and I'll be able to drink this entire thing of water before I get to my next stop. And then again, at the next airport, I can ask them to fill it up. So let me show you what I'm going to have for breakfast. So I bought, brought a chewy chocolate chip premier protein bar, 200 calories, 20 grams of protein. So I'm going to have this and then I've got a few snacky things as well. If I eat anything else, I'll definitely show you, but this will be my second protein supplement today and will at least help me get in some protein as part of breakfast. Okay, so I just got to my gate and my coffee that I got is a 24 ounce iced Americano with sugar-free mocha. So I'm going to have to kind of guess on all of the points and calories, but I'll put it here on the screen. It's actually really good. And then I did put a little bit of cream in there. My flight boards in about 40 minutes and I'm in the C group again. I was in the C group before, so I luckily got a window on the last flight. Hopefully this one isn't full and I can get a little bit better seat. I'm going to sip on my coffee while I wait for my final flight into Orange County. I'm here, I am in California. I've got my suitcase. It was the second one out of the carousel. I am walking to find the shuttle to the hotel. I guess we have a free shuttle. So I was at this conference last year, so this all looks familiar, luckily, but I remember having to walk kind of far to find the shuttle, but it's free to the, to the hotel. So hopefully I'm not too early to check in. One hour later. So I took an Uber down to Newport Beach to the pier and the driver was so lovely. He told me exactly where to go. That would be safe for me to be by myself. My room is not ready for a couple hours. 
it's so beautiful here. I'll show you guys. I mean, these yachts, holy moly. This is a very kind of high-end bougie part of Orange County. I think I'm going to eat here rather than be limited to something at the hotel since I'm going to be stuck eating there for multiple meals. So he said there's a really good fresh fish place. So I think I'm going to do that. I did bring my jacket, but it's pretty warm out even for me, an Arizona girl. So let me flip you around and show you Newport Pier, Newport Beach. And then I'm going to walk around through the town a little bit. There's some shops. I'm going to have lunch here, late lunch, early dinner. I think my friend Henry is going to join me. Look at how adorable this place is and fish sounds really good. Look at how amazing these look. I'm so excited. So my total was just about $12, which is not bad at all, but I'll definitely have a snack later. I thought they'd be a little bit bigger, but they look really, really good. So I made it back to my room, got all checked in, just unpacked, got ready to go. I'm one of those people that unpacks everything. Like I pull out the skincare I'm going to use. I hang up all my clothes. I put my stuff in the drawers. Let me know down below if you're someone that does that when you travel as well. I'm very type A. I like things organized and in their place. I just feel more at home, I guess. And since I'm going to be here for a few days, I made sure that everything got put in its place, freshened up a little bit. My friend Henry met me down at the restaurant. He didn't eat, I actually ate before he got there and I'm getting hungry again. It's dinner time, it's about 5.30. So he's kind of mingling around, seeing who he knows here. And I think there's going to be a group of us going to dinner. So I'll see if I can get some footage at dinner, at least of what I'm eating. I have been working on my water. I'm really behind on my water. This is the only one I've drank today. So my goal is to drink another full one of these. This one's empty. My goal is to drink another one. That's the one you guys I got at 5.30 this morning at the airport. So I've been really, really bad about my water. I did have a little bit with my lunch, but nowhere near the water I need. So I'm going to shoot for getting in another one of those. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a video of my food. I didn't know who was gonna be there. I didn't know who was coming. So I'm back in my room. Dinner was amazing. I didn't eat my whole bowl. I would say probably three quarters of it. I did boiled shrimp, avocado, edamame, salad. The little pile of stuff was like a crab. It was delicious. Had some tortilla chips on the side that I kind of dipped in the crab. Really, really good. Nice, clean, fresh food. I actually feel like for being on vacation, I ate really well today between the fish tacos and then having this really good, healthy bowl for dinner. We went, it was my friend Henry and a couple of the other girls here at the conference. It was really, really fun. It is now 8 p.m. I just put my pajamas on, washed my face, and I'm gonna relax for a little bit. I haven't checked my email or anything today, so I'm gonna get caught up on that and just relax. In the morning, I think I'm gonna do a workout, whether I attend the Zumba class being offered here or go to the gym. I'm going to do my best to do my normal things on vacation, eat my normal foods. I packed lots of snacks. My friend Henry actually lives about 40 minutes from here, so he's going to bring me Greek yogurt to have it for breakfast. I'm getting my protein coffee in the morning. I actually packed my protein shakes. So like I said, I do my best to be as normal as possible when it comes to moving my body and food, even on vacation. And then I still enjoy the foods that I want to enjoy, but I try to be, I guess, as normal as possible. So hopefully you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day while traveling. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I'd love to have you here. And don't forget that there's nutrition coaching and my Facebook group down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.